Hello everyone, Wire Angel here and welcome to a new Let's Play series for the channel, American McGee's Alice. For those of you unfamiliar with this game, this was a sort of third person psychological you know, horror action adventure that came out in 2000. So this is quite an old game, 16 years ago it came out. But when it came out it was a bit of a cult classic to say the least. It proved popular enough and enough in demand that a sequel was made a few years ago, Alice Madness Returns. And I have to say, this is a game, I, when I first heard about it when it came out years and years ago, I was a bit young at the time to play it. I think I was about 11 when this came out. Uh, yeah, no, I was about 13 when this came out. So I, was, I wanted to play it, but I wasn't able to play it on my computer at the time. So the first time I actually played this was when I got the 360 version of Madness Returns, because all th those console guns came with a free copy of this. So I managed to get my hands on an updated version of it, so this is the version the 2011 when Madness Returns come out. So it has been updated for the graphics wise, so it could be fit onto you know updated resolution computers and stuff. So this is going to be a really good game, really looking forward... Ooh, excuse me, hiccups. Really looking forward to playing this, so I hope you guys enjoy it with me, and feel free as always, let me know in the comments if you played yourself, how do you feel about the game, and and if there's any issues you want to discuss, or any advice you want to share. Because as you know, I always love hearing from you guys, so feel free to let me know in the comments, okay? So, all my settings have been set up, um, what's I going to fame Bond moment. All the settings have been set up for resolution and all that, so we're ready to go straight into the game. Let me know in the comments as well if you feel that the brightness needs adjusting, because I have set it a bit higher than I usually have it, because I know how YouTube will make it come out, but let me know if you feel it needs any more adjusting for future videos, okay? But let's get going. We're going to hit new game. Now, I has even though I've played this, I have completed it when I the console version. That was a little while ago, so what I feel like doing is, like I said, I really enjoyed this game for the story more than anything. So we're actually going to go for, I'll tell you what, let's go for a hard. I think that's not quite nightmare. I think it'd be a little bit more difficult than a medium, so let's go for a hard. Anyway, I will shut up now and leave you guys to the opening video. So here we go guys. And plop. Please don't dawdle Alice. We're very late indeed. A 
Hello, Cheshire cats. You've gone quite mangy, cat, but your grins are comfort. And you've picked up a bit of an attitude, still curious and willing to learn, I hope. Wonderland's become quite strange. How is one to find her way? As knowing where you're going is preferable to being lost, ask. Rabbit knows a thing or two, and I myself don't need a weather vane to tell which way the wind blows. Let your need guide your behavior. Suppress your instinct to lead. Pursue, Rabbit. So here we go, guys. So this is what the graphics look like, as you can see. Quite interesting. And as you can tell, this might not be actually based on the Alice in Wonderland stories. So you're not actually playing as Alice from the book. You're playing as a girl called Alice whose family, as you saw, died in a sort of tragic fire accident. And she's been in a sort of catatonic state since. Thanks to her rabbits, she's starting to sort of want to wake up, so to speak. But it's done by basically exploring her mind of Wonderland. That thanks to her sort of insanity, so to speak, with the cat her catatonic state is a bit twisted to say the least so we're gonna have to work our way through and try and open things up at the moment so we're in oops. our land is destroyed our spirit crash reminds me of the asylum is there no joy here slavery and happiness do not dwell in the same house when the path is problematical consider a leap of faith ride the wind Thank you, Cheshire Cat. So yeah, things are a little bit more darker, a bit more gothic like than before. Not as bad as the second one. There's a level in the second one involving dolls that just really creeps me out. But this is Village of the Damned. And we're going to start off with some weapons, but for the moment we don't have anything. So we need to cross over to here. Now thankfully we have a handy thing. If you see any sh geysers like this, we can jump up and we can ride it with a skirt. Stir up no trouble, stranger. The Red Queen's agents are ruthless. I'm not afraid of her or her creatures. Never was, really. You should stand up to them. Defiance is useless. While the Queen reigns, only death can release us from this misery. Or her death, I suppose. Meta-essence is the life force of Wonderland. That of your enemies is especially potent. Collect what you can. Use it wisely. I'm going to have to find out after this who the voice actor was because I love that voice. It reminds me a little bit of Alan Rickman in sort of the tone, so I, but I don't think it was him. I'm really going to have to have a look though, see what, who it was. Okay, we need to go around. That's it. There we go. So that is basically your health pickups. You have to, you can get them from slayed enemies. Oh, and that little thing, just in case you're wondering, there is you can use it to jump on platforms. So you point it where you sort of want to, and then just by tapping it, you sort of make the little jump to where it is. You can do big jumps, completely random like that, but that really does help with the platforming to be able to try and aim where you want a little bit. So for example, we want to go here, you can just tap, and it'll go right there. And here we are, our first weapon. Your knife is necessary, but not sufficient. Always collect what's useful. Reject only your ignorance. And you may survive. No, Rabbit! Don't go in the little house! How am I gonna get in there? I need to find a cake. I've only been, it's only been in the past couple of weeks I've actually read Alice in Wonderland. I never read it as a, a child. The closest I've ever done, apart from played the games, this, is to do the Disney film. So, this is. So, yeah, I've actually read the original books now and it's been interesting I can see where they come from with the oh. everyone seems completely dejected are things really as bad as all that the truth would reduce you to a blubbering baby are you the savior rabbit has been telling us about all this time I shouldn't think so I'm a person and just now I wish to get very small about this big calls for serious twisting You'll need to go sideways, not forward. If I knew how, I'd go sideways myself. Not twisted, small. I wish to become about this big. The fortress of doors holds such secrets, but it will take more than a wish to get inside. 
Doors have locks. Locks need keys, which you don't have. Let's hope the doors are open. And if not, there may be more than one way to skin a cat, if you'll pardon the expression. <laughs> Most unpleasant metaphor. Please avoid it in future. So, yeah, we start off our first weapon, the Vol Volpal Blade. It's sort of the classic Alice weapon here. Oops. And we've got two weapon sort of modes you can use. We've got the standard one, which is to do slices like this, or we can throw it at enemies. And decapitation! <laughs> so there you go, he's dead, and we've now picked up his health packs, or his life force. So yeah, each weapon in this game has two options. You've got your main attack, like in this case it's a slash, and you can throw it. And they've got many different weapons, a lot of which are based on the sort of the world of the world and land. So for example you get a rocking horse you can get then a thing you can get you know the for those of you that have read the books and you know the flamingos they used to play croquettes. Yeah? Was it croquettes? Yeah. With the hedgehogs in that. You can actually use that as a weapon uh, and you get to you can throw it around and stuff, so it's pretty cool. So we need to get through that door and we need to go to another place known as the Fortress of Doors to get to it. So we need to continue on our way. Only a few find the way. Some don't recognize it when they do. Some don't ever want to. Thank you, Cheshire. Okay, so we can climb up on platforms like so, which is useful. We're not going to pick that up because I don't need to. So a little jump. There we go. Rabbit told us a champion would come. Are you that champion? Perhaps. Can you get me inside the Fortress of Doors? Oh no, I wouldn't dare. Since the upheaval, we've all become gutless halfwits. <laughs> I can barely risk crossing the road. But make your way to the mines, the deepest pit. There's one wiser and braver than myself who might help. He still lives free. Right, so there we go. There's a guy in the mines. Handily named right there, you Every mind. adventure requires a first step. Try to put true even here. <laughs> Thank you, cat. Okay, so... Oh, cr ah, crap, 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 crap. Oh, phew. <laughs> Can you take full damage in this game? I can't remember, and I'm, I hope not to find out. I doubt you could, just because, you know, she's got her skirt. She might be able to use it as a parachute. I certainly remember doing something like that in the second game. Although I could be wrong. Oops. We need to be careful. Can we go for here? Uh, no. It's worth a try. So there we go. But that's our destination. You're mine. Let's jump down. Target. And jump. There we go. Pandemonium. Right. As you can Hanging uh, ropes are as good as step ladders to those who know how to use them. Okay. Let's leave your faith, guys. Leave your faith! Ah! Oh, that was a bit further. <laughs> jumped further than I anticipated. That's okay. We've got a. Hmm. Let's pop down there a second. So, ready? Swing. So, I was just going to jump down here like so. Can we get through there? Uh, no, we can't. It's probably the portal to the Fortress of Doors, but we just need to actually get there first by finding the Dwarf that's going to help us out a bit. Thing, If I remember why he's going to Ash... Why oh. do you pursue me to this deserted place? Here he is. To benefit from your wisdom. Even blurred vision is valued by the blind. If I were clever, would I cower in this slag heap? I'm not wise, girl. I just... Grown old. I wish to get very small, no bigger than a mouse. Do you know how I might do that? Only that? Oh yes, I could manage that. For a price. I have nothing of value. You have nerve and your health. Mine are nearly gone. I've seen too much suffering, and I smoke too much, you see. What must I do? In the card guard's compound, a particularly rough diamond holds a key. Retrieve it. I will repay the favor. Okay, so we're going to have to get up to the garrison now for the, the 
cards in order to pick up this diamond. Uh, how do I get up there again? Is it this way? Yeah, nope. Like I said, you will have to bear with me a little bit. If I do get particularly lost on different levels, I will edit it out. So don't worry, you won't get yourself caught up in watching anything too boring. But, yeah, just bear with me that it has been a little while since I've actually played the game. So I am playing it a little bit blind, so... Yes, expect a little bit of delays and a bit of getting lost in that, okay guys? And probably expect a few deaths as well. I need to double check actually to see how do I quick save in this game. Oh crap, here we go. Watch out for the falling rocks. <laughs> no! Oh, that was lucky. But yeah, while we're on this little ride, like I said, this is a game that I really enjoyed as a, uh, like wanted to play as a kid, when I was a teenager. It was just very dark, a bit gothic, you know, it was just, it really, I was interested even at that age about retellings of stories, you know, how things were sort of retold differently. So yeah, I just really wanted to play this, and when I started in the channel, this was definitely one of the games I wanted to do. Oh crap. Die, 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 die. There we go. So unfortunately there's no block button, so I'm going to have to m improvise a bit. Ooh, what's this? Oh, this is a, um... 52 pickup is a staple of juvenile humor, but when the deck slices and dices, it's no laughing matter. <laughs> so yeah, just to finish what I was saying before, I really wanted to play this. It was like a really dark and interesting. I liked the fact that there was something, a story of a difference, you know. It wasn't just, oh, Alice in Wonderland sort of thing. It was about a twisted girl's mind and trying to regain her sanity, you know. It was really cool. And so I was really glad I had the opportunity to play it for the first time then when I got it on the console. So while this is the PC version, I d unfortunately I haven't got the equipment yet to sort of connect up to and do consoles and games because I would love to do that in the future. I would love to do a Mass Effect trilogy and things like that, but we'll get to it. But anyway, before we carry on, this is what I wanted to show is the second card, the 52 card pickup. So you can switch between weapons like so, and you have two things. You can shoot cards like that, and as you can see on the right, it uses up energy. So I'm not sure if I get that energy back. I think I have to kill enemies to do it. Or we can do this, which sort of plays more like a shotgun thing, if I remember right. Uh, let's test it down some enemies. It allows us to get keep him out of distance, which is kind of what we want to do. Alright. And... Oh, crap. Okay, that's one. Oh, oh yeah, these ones uh, shoot stuff. Oops. Damn it, that one just bounced off the door. Okay, I need my knife back. Damn it. Okay, we need... Dark, dodge, dodge. Okay, we hit the one in the back there. Right. Okay, that's that one. Okay, knife back. Good. There we go. Dead. So, yeah, as we pick up health, we also get energy as well for our weapons. So, the knife is pretty straightforward. There we go. That gives us a bit more. Okay, that's the diamond we need. Ta-da! Now we need to get out of here. So there was, I think I just saw, yeah, a portal right here. Let's pop through here. And that's where it led. Right. There's our dwarf friend. Follow me, Alice. Okay, so we need to get through here. Let's... Oh, crap! Get away from me! Oh, no, 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 die! Oh, damn it! I just lost track. Ah, okay. Uh, yeah, let's just load the latest game. Oh, crap, was it really here? No, it can't be there. Uh, let's see. Nineteen. So, yeah, you've now got a bit of a peak. I'm actually recording this on... Saturday before this has come out and that was one of the first times I played it just to give it a go. Okay guys I'll load up and I'll catch you guys in a second when I got back to the game okay. 
Okay guys, so we're back on the thing. I'm just going to save the game. There you go. Crap. Crack, 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 crack. Give my knife back, give me my knife back. There we go, heads off. Right. Okay, switch over to our 52 card pickup. Crap. Okay, let's jump. Uh, crap, which what? What, no, what thing it is to um, run again? I can't remember. Damn it! I have to double check the controls again. How is it you climb up? Okay, controls. Uh, s space. Oh no, swim up. I want climb up. And there you go, so it gives you an idea of the weapons you can all get in the game. Blunderbusses, eye staff, the Jack of Rocky staff, demon dice. Uh, Damn it, there's actually no nothing here seems to be able to climb up a thing. So annoying. Okay. Uh, jump. Now get out the acid, get out the acid. Okay, up we get, up we get, up we get, health pack. There we go, that's one dead. Okay, we need his health pack, there we go. Oh, get out of the acid, get out of the acid, get out of the acid. Jesus Christ, I need to practice these controls a bit more, eh? Okay, let's try this. And jump. And jump. Okay, I'll tell you what, we'll skip that guy back up there. We'll just run straight into the portal after the... Oh, chap. You have the key. Very resourceful. Rabbit's confidence is not misplaced. He is no fool. I certainly hope he is not. Use the key to free my clan from the oppressive burden they carry. Any fight against the Queen's tyranny is a good fight. They've suffered... I'm sure I'm very sorry for them, sir. Really, I am. But what about me getting small? So here we go, on our way now to the Fortress of Doors. So that's not the nicest place, as you can see, about the... Um, Someone that, that looks like the bit of insane child right by there. Now I'm I'm trying to use in the words things like insane and that in the more sort of normal like the average sense that people There's tend to think. A school oh, never mind. Inside the fortress, where you'll find certain items for creating a concoction that will make you small. What items exactly? Items? Items, girl. You'll know them when you see them. Uh, speaking of seeing things, we should avoid the card guards' notice. Hang on. Ah, uh, damn it. We've been seen. Are we going down? Quick, jump off! Eventually, you must break through such walls. But for now, jump! Here we go. Right, we haven't got the best position at the moment of health. Let's. Okay, maybe not pop that way. Crap! Oh! Fat, that thing just knocked us off. Bugger. Okay. Um. Right. Uh. We need. Uh. This one. Damn it! We're gonna have to do that a bit again. Okay. Tell you what. Jump. 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 One. There we go. Right over his head. There we go. Straight in. Yes. Okay. Let's get through that. I tell you what, guys. I'm going to end the episode here. Then I'll carry on my train of thought what I was saying before next time. But I hope you guys enjoyed this first episode. It's a different game than I usually go for. And especially with the other game that I'm doing this week. That you'll have to check out just later on in the week as a bit of a surprise. It's a bit different from what I've usually done. 
but I've enjoyed them nevertheless. So I hope you guys enjoy it as well. But thank you for watching, and I shall see you next time in American McGee's Alice, Re Alice Returns. Bye for now.